Actually, losers, losers semis. Losers semis. Okay. Since Linzel should be in losers finals. Loser semi will be Juby versus JJ Rocket. Juve and JJ Rocket. But I'm going to be able to get the same thing. Well, Juve and JJ. Juby versus JJ. What do you see about this game? Last Soul Smash, I believe, we had the same matchup. Somewhere around the bracket. I think it was Loser's Finals. I might be wrong. But. JJ pretty commandingly took the game. Right. So Let's see if Juvie will able, be able to take it back. That's right. Uh, we are going to have like. So the first game of the game, first game of the day, loser semi, Juve versus JJ Rocket, JJ Rocket versus yeah. Juve, which is Diddy Kong and Villager. So it's about the uh, zoning and those Ooh. kind of like a setup play. Just like some, it's a little bit like um um. Me sort of fighter in the, in the sense that he he needs to like set out all those kind of bananas to be a, able to do all this kind of stuff. But um, for Jube, he needs to read the opponents and be able to put all those kind of like the bowling ball and those kind of the um, how they call it uh, slingshot slingshot to be able to like deal a little bit of damage time by time and be able to kill up the opponents. So it's about the zoning and the combo and. Uh, settle and defend, I guess. So we have JJ Rockets vs Diddy Kong versus Juvia's Villager. <laughs> Juvia is going to want to somewhat keep Diddy Kong at somewhat of a distance so he can comfortably shoot his Void Rockets and his Slingshots mm. and make reads with the bowling balls and whatnot. But JJ has been able to go in so easily and he gets to run up up smash right through the Lloyd even before the hitbox was active. That was pretty actually, amazing. Uh, the thing is, even if he didn't use, didn't even he didn't even have to use the banana. That's the point. Right. And and now oh, nice try, nice try of the bowling ball, but not able to keep finish it off. Bananas aren't going to be quite as effective against Juvie's villager because Juvie has been very much an air fighter. He's always jumping up, always trying to stay off of the ground. Mm. Bananas are mostly effective when the people, the enemies are standing. Like, you can't slip in the air. That's right. Because uh, Ju what's Jubei's playstyle? He usually just trying to catch it up and then do the uh, neutral air or right. something like up air and the down air to try to keep finish the opponents. But the thing, but the thing is... Ooh. Inevitably, he will have to touch the ground, and JJ caught that one second so well into a banana throw, into an up smash. That's GB does take this, his first stop against JJ, but... He has one stop, uh, it's kind of one stop kind of short. Yeah. And so it kind of doesn't look good for uh, JJ, to be honest. Not at all. Mm, it does, uh, no, it doesn't look good for Juve, to be honest. Not really good. Oh, right, JJ right. looking really good, then, right now, actually. <laughs> no, bit of a slip up. <laughs> yeah, so right now, um, JJ have like 21%, uh, one stop lead, and then he's only at 21%. But Juve is already like around 100%, which is really high, to be honest. Yeah, this is looking tough. So one banana will do the trick, and all those kind of stuff will be able to do all this kind of stuff. I, w I wonder what will JJ do? Oh, but that! Oh, and he grabs a balloon, was it? Yeah. So now he will take that um, banana once again, and when he grows up, he will try to? Maybe not. Okay. So he will do like... Alright, here's the JJ special. Oh, it doesn't quite get it. Juvie tried to actually catch JJ out of the rocket jump with his up like forward smash, but JJ saw that, did not get hit by it, and instead gets a clean up smash of his own. Nice job by the JJ Rockets, go yeah. by 1-0 against Juve. Clapping with his feet. It's probably like, that's what I did to you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what we are going to do, uh, we are going to Smashville. Juvi wants a bit of his home advantage, taking his character to his own stage. I don't know how it will benefit the uh, villager, to be honest. But yeah. I guess uh, he wants this kind of a small platform in, in this kind of sense. Well, villager is a bit lacking in kill power unless he gets some strong reads with the smash attacks. Or one of Ju Juvi's or villager's main kill options is going to be slingshot all the way to the side. And if that side is smaller than other stages, then he'll, it's going to be a much easier job for him to accomplish. Uh, 
I think JJ wanted to do like when the when the villager is coming trying to coming back, he wanted to finish off the opponent by killing all these kind of balloons, but he was not able to do it. But he's still on the lead, pretty decent lead, 50% lead actually. So it, it doesn't look good, but um, he needs to slowly catch him up. He's not able to catch. All right, this is what Juby loves to do as villager actually. I'm now remembering. His recovery options on this stage are actually so much more versatile than compared to others because with his recovery, he can go all the way to the other side mm. under the stage. The thing with the uh, uh, villager, one of the biggest good parts of the villager is that he's, his, his recovery is just so good. It is. So, utilizing that recovery, he's, not able, uh, he's able to just stay alive until now, but again, he's still... It's still Jube. Uh, it's still Jube that's not in the lead right now. But it's 90% to 141. It's not a lot of. It does. It looks like 50% of the difference. But again, it's one smash away to just finish off the opponents. Ooh, but nice. the beggar, nice. that beggar is just. <sighs> All right. So, actually, Diddy Kong's kill options, main kill options, as we see in the last game, are going to be his up smash or other smash attacks. His aerials are not quite as much of a kill option. I think that's gonna kill. Oh, nice DI. Nice DI into it. Oh, that's... Ooh, wow, that's very it. Very nice. Because, and also it's a very good style of the uh, uh, recovery. Very good recovery. Is able to do uh, again? Maybe not. All right, uh, maybe not. Maybe. Okay, you can't take JJ out that easy. Yeah. But to continue my point, JJ, he wants to land his smash attacks, but Juvie with his slingshots and noise is not letting him get into a standing position near him, at least not easily. So JJ keeps has to keep using his a bit comparatively weaker moves, which are his aerials, which is why GUV has always been in such high percentages when he's been getting these kills. But right now, it, it seems like it's a little bit head-to-head -head for the both, both player actually right now, yeah. both like 80%, and then um, GUV is actually starting to ha get the hang of the JJ Rocket, and he's trying to come back from the other side. Oh my it's god! JJ Rockets can do that too, did he come? His own recovery going all the way under the stage to the other side. JJ is trying to tell! Nice! Oh. Nice coverage! Very nice coverage for sure. But again, um, Jube, uh, JJ is only like 94%. If he can actually get the hit! Oh, doesn't quite get it. That was so close. Yeah, if he actually was not able to attack that, he would just be dead right there. Yeah. So it looks good for JJ to be honest. It's 60% for Jube. It's pretty, pretty good amount of the um, percentage, percentage to be honest. So um, one more one more banana will be able to do the trick and maybe not, but it's close. At least close. JJ Rock is continuously getting those aerials and he's been weaving through all these hitboxes with the projectiles from Villager to consist consistently get the damage inside. But once again, Villager is feeling super safe with the high percentage and the read. Jubei had a very nice read there. He knew that JJ was going to come back like that and then he did the up smash right there and he was just able to finish it off. That is JJ's signature move, I would say. The upbeat crash into the opponent to get a kill. He's gotten first two soul smashes, grand finals last stocks with that move. And he's always going to go in for that opportunity if he can get it and Juvi reads, reads that very well but it doesn't look good for Juvi to be honest because one fifty five percent so yep. something like that something like an off smash is just able to do the trick and then JJ Rocket take it off once Too again off. running under the Lloyd Rocket before the hitbox was active to get the free up smash so again it's losers uh, uh, Soul Smash 6 Starting from losers' quarters, all the game is going to be best of five. Yep. So Jube still have chance to win this game. It's going to be tough. He has to do the reverse 3-0 to even have a chance to get to the grand finals. He actually changed the skin, so Woo! he might actually uh, be able to like you know like shaping up a little bit. So going back stuff. to Smashville. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely his comfort pick of a stage, mm -hmm. but JJ has been winning on top of it, which obviously means a, a lot for JJ Rockets. So now, um, it, 
looks a little bit tight for the both of the players getting uh, getting the attack here and there but the bowling ball didn't get didn't get the attack quite right so it kind of looks a little bit bad for the again oh it's it's it looks for JJ turn it looks like it's a JJ, it looks like it's a, a little bit JJ turns here and there but not really it's actually pretty tight Ooh, nice patience on that shield not getting hit by that up smash and F smash. Oh, he went for that down down air, but he was not able to uh, hit it. Other he side. Went the other side. Like oh, nice! Wow. Nice axe kill. An axe kill. That was an axe kill for sure. An axe kill. Mm -hmm. Like he, you, JJ would want to jump up there and <clears throat> try to get another aerial out of it, but that axe beats it up, and we know. How strong axes are when you summit and all. That's right. He just we was just able to finish off JJ like that. I love you, axe. Uh, but it's 108 percent. It doesn't look good for JJ. But it's down. Of uh, back air. So he wants to get in these percentages. An up smash or any other smash from Diddy Kong would kill Villager, but he can't land Ooh. those. Instead, he's just getting aerial after aerial. Even the throws aren't going to kill. The thing with the the thing with the previous attack and all those kind of stuff, it was uh, wearing down the J Diddy Kong's shield here and there. So I thought that one more hit was just able to just finish off Diddy Kong's like. Um, Oh, oh, nice read. Diddy Kong's shield there, but it was not enough, and Diddy Kong was able to run there, do an up smash, and kill off the opponents. Wow. Juvi has been showing a bit of an ad adaptation against this matchup. He notices that JJ has been quite often running under his Lloyd hitbox, and Lloyd rocket before it was active. He's gonna up smash. So now he's just kind of using the Lloyd rocket a bit above the ground. And now he's been using grabs to catch JJ out from the runs or the side Bs. Oh, but JJ Rocket is actually catching nice. up right now. They're actually they doing a little bit of different kind of... Uh, they're all, almost the same percentage. Actually, he's starting to... catching up. He oh, the Lloyd Rocket hits. Don't look like get a kill. Super high percentage on both of these players. It's That's gonna be a scary situation. That's right, but that run into the yep. off smash. Is he learning something like counter? Yeah. Learning him at smash? JJ is always <laughs> going to be good at adaptation. You can't be a good top tier player without that. Mm. Oh, nice side B. And that... If he actually is able to finish oh. on that... Oh, that was so close! If he went for the Hail Mary to get that two, both of the balloons, he might have gotten that stock easily, but... But that, uh, but he, he was actually catch uh, JJ Rocket with that Nair, and yep. he was able to finish off the uh, Diddy Kong's second stock. So, so last, now, mm, the last, last stock situation. situation for this game, and potentially Juby's last stock for this tournament. That's right, but the F smash, not so, quite enough to finish off, but the, it's just one banana away. It's one and banana away, but... It's the other side, yeah, so you still side. have the chance. You still have the chance. One banana away. One banana away. Oh god. Might not even need a banana. One run up of smash as he has been taking pretty much every single stock this whole set. Yeah, one run up uh He's gonna be up many more smash. He's gonna need many more aerials for that to kill. Or even uh, I think it's one thirty one percent, so maybe a back air was able to finish it off actually. If it catches him off stage and for sure. That's right. Oh, oh skirt. Okay, JJ up is out of it. Nice. Over it. Nice catch over it. Oh, okay. JB patiently like doesn't it. jump off mm. and jump into JJ Rockets. And oh my god, he catched that he's going to do the side B and he just do the up smash and he was able to finish it off. So JJ Rocket 3-0 Jubei, can he go grants to the uh, loser's final against 